best new artist. Last year's VMAs, I don't even remember what happened. That's how uninspired I was by them. So this year I was kind of like, am I going to hate this? Do I really want to watch this? And then Nick was like, hey, I'm going to perform on the VMAs. And then DNC were like, hey, we're up for an award. And then Halsey was like, hey, I'm going to sing like with the Chainsmokers. And I was like, well, who's going to have to watch the VMAs? So first off, let's address the obnoxious shirt choice for this video. DNC nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Didn't even perform, didn't really do much, weren't really seen that often, but best new artist, best new artist. The pre-show started, then Troy Sivan came out, and he, had, he sounded really good, and I was like, Australia. He arrived, and what a blessing. What a blessing. I'm just gonna insert this photo here, because Nick looked fantastic. And we all just need a moment. They, like, they were like hyping it up when they were talking to him. And I was like, cool, he's totally going to win it. Because that's why they're talking about him. And then he lost it. Nick was robbed. But also, the way to vote for it was to download that musically. Musically? Musically app? I don't even know. And you had to vote through that app. And the only people that use that app are ages 10 and below. So, but I was holding on to that hope that MTV was going to rig it because he was there and he was performing on the show that night, the song that was nominated and it usually looks good for them to be like, oh, and here we have like the song of the summer or whatever it was. And then like that would have been a good intro. But yeah, Nick lost it. And then I was sad for about three seconds. And then Halsey was the next person they interviewed and... <laughs> Halsey. Let's just appreciate this outfit. Halsey looked great. I was a little bit skeptical because lately she's been wearing some pretty awful shit to award shows. Not gonna lie, love you Halsey. Not so much loving your wardrobe. But she looks so good. She looked great. Fast forward to after the show, she's all over like gossip rags websites being like oh my god Halsey showed her nipples really really we're really gonna worry about this right now Halsey looked banging that's all we need to worry about outfits wise RuPaul's Drag Race which is a guilty pleasure of mine if you haven't seen that show please 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 go watch the contestants from like the superstar season which is the current season um they all recreated like past VMA like iconic red carpet outfits so they had like Britney and the snake and like Lady Gaga's um meat dress and it was so great it was so so cool and I was just like thank you for bringing something interesting to this carpet this year and Nicki Minaj was very like she looked really nice this year like she had a really like chill outfit but then I was also kind of like this is a VMAs do something weird but Jinju was a queen, an absolute queen, as always. I feel like by now, the award shows probably started. Rihanna did basically her entire discography live, but didn't do Ponder Replay. That was my jam when I was like 12, and it was on like Barbie Pool Party Summer Hits CDs or whatever they were called. They kept glimpsing to Nick, and Nick looked so dumb with everyone. Like, he just was like, every single time they crossed to him. And I'm like, you should probably stop crossing to Nick. He's not giving you the reaction you're looking for, guys. So, by this stage, we had found out that DNC was in the top two for Best New Artist. So, you had to vote on Twitter um, between the final two. So, it was like hashtag vote DNC or hashtag vote the other guy. <laughs> the Aussie DNC squad, we're all just like, it's go time fam. And honestly, there was nothing else on my Twitter feed except for that hashtag. 
it was it was a beautiful beautiful mess dnc noticed jackie's tweet and we all kind of lost our shit a little bit because it was like a photo i'll put it here so the aussie's going to have these jackets and shirts and such and you may have seen them on dnc's twitter before but they retweeted again so yeah everybody just got super pumped about that kevin finally appears for the first time all day we see nick and joe all day the whole gang's there and then kevin finally finally logs on twitter and he's just like vote for dnce and then me being stupid replied hope you're watching the vmas or you better be watching because like you know like two of his brothers are there he goes and likes it and he, he liked it kevin jonas liked my tweet i finally got noticed by a jonas brother on twitter I started freaking out on Twitter and I forgot to take his at name out of the tweets. So he liked my freaking out tweets as well. So he liked like three of my tweets in like under three minutes. And then Kevin, Kevin is the real MVP of the Jonas family. He was liking like everybody in the squad's tweets and it was, it was a fantastic time to be alive. And then I was just like, I'm going to tweet this. And then this happened. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. The DNC Aussie Squad's faces are just obnoxiously on DNC's Twitter page. It's fine. It's totally fine. Everything is fine. I, I am not fine. It just makes me really happy to know that they know that we're all friends and like we're friends because of them so it's like the coolest thing ever when they're like noticing the dnc squad so much as a squad and we're killing it we are absolutely killing it when you are your faves faves so yeah that happened and we were just like well shit what is what is today why is it so great and then nick comes out finally finally okay this is a very long time after nick came out and possibly did, no, not possibly, there's no questioning this, Nick Jonas did the best VMAs performance of all time. Like, bring Kanye here, fight me. That was the best VMAs performance of all time. They started off in, like, the little diner and, like, recreated the bacon video, basically. And then DNCU were in there. And then we had Jack, Flawless Lawless, who had his... Last year was complicated, snapback on. We're outside with these like cars and then it was Ty Dolla Sign. And then Nick was like performing on this little, I think it was the pre-show stage. I don't know, he was just all over the place, but he sounded so on point and it was so good. And thank you, Nick Jonas, for inventing VMA performances. There's a lot of stuff in the middle that I didn't really care about. Kanye compared himself to Walt Disney. And it got a little bit weird. Rihanna came on another like six times. And then there was a lot of random people that I have no idea who they are. And the two like host people that they kept cutting to, they just weren't funny. I don't know who they were, but they were very, very not funny. The guy made one good comment the whole night. He was like, oh, like, welcome back to the extended Rihanna concert featuring the VMAs. And I was like, this is accurate. She's been on a lot. That the votes were closing and then they finally closed. And we're like, okay, we got this. And then turns out we actually got this. PNC won and they went up on the stage and were like super cute. They were all like, thank you to our fans all over the world. And the obnoxious Australian DNC squad were like, all around the world! And we're really excited about that one little comment. And they've only been a band like a year and they're just killing it. They're just absolutely killing it. And they cut to Nick and Nick looked so proud. I didn't really have time to bring it down because next up, literally, literally next up was Halsey's performance. 
and oh my god oh my god she vocally was amazing her outfit was so good i am here for sequined everything and so she, as soon as she came out all sparkly i was just like this is gonna be good it was Halsey featuring the Chainsmokers. It was no longer Chainsmokers featuring Halsey. It was amazing. She stole the show. There wasn't really anything after that that I actually cared about. That was basically the end of the awards for me. I think that Halsey closed the show in my eyes. <laughs> Honestly, bottom line, at the end of the day, it is the Jonas Family's world and I am just living in it.